हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज 1.28 पाई रोड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम अ स्मॉल बॉडी इज थ्रोन एट एन एंगल टू द हॉरिजॉन्टल विद द इनिशियल वेलोसिटी वेक्टर v0 नेगलेक्टिंग द एयर ड्रैग फाइंड द डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द बॉडी एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टाइम r वेक्टर t एंड द मीन वेलोसिटी वेक्टर एवरेज्ड ओवर द फर्स्ट 3 सेकंड्स एंड ओवर द टोटल टाइम ऑफ मूव सो ये एक डिफरेंट सी प्रॉब्लम है नॉर्मली uh, हम किसी भी प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व करने के लिए उसकी वेलोसिटी को कंपोनेंट में रिप्रेजेंट कर लेते हैं सच एज एक्स कंपोनेंट एंड वाई कंपोनेंट वेलोसिटी विल बी वी एक्स आई प्लस वी वाई इन दिस फॉर्मेट लेकिन इस प्रॉब्लम में अगर हम डायरेक्ट इन वैक्टर्स को यूज करके डिस्प्लेसमेंट कैलकुलेट करें बाई गैलियोज ब्लॉक वी नो दैट बाई गैलियोज सेकेंड इक्वेशन वी नो दैट एस इज यू टी प्लस हाफ ए टी स्क्वायर एंड सिंस दिस इक्वेशन कंटेन्स ऑल वैक्टोरियल टर्म so by using this equation we can write s vector which is r vector here so r vector in terms of time equal to u vector u vector is velocity vector is problem mein small body ko throw kiya humne kisi particular angle pe a small body is thrown at an angle to the horizontal with the initial velocity v not it means in this projectile path this vector is v not vector it means there is some angle so suppose alpha then this v not is completely v not cos alpha i vector plus v not sin alpha j vector but since galileo's equations is valid in vectorial form also so we can use that be the equation so displacement of the body as a function of for time r is written as r t equal to u u vector is v not vector here v not vector t plus half a vector that is gravity vector here and t is so rt is v not t plus half gt so displacement of the body as a function of time is this it is v not t plus half g vector into t square this g vector is minus gj v not vector is v not cos alpha i cap plus v not sin alpha j and gravity vector written here is minus gj vector it means if we make a dot between the two if we make a dot product v not dot g vector then we will get the dot product of these two since i is there there is no i this component is not useful in this product if we make j dot j it will become one so it is minus v not g sin alpha so v not dot g is minus v not g sin alpha the direction of g is minus g so it is minus v not g sin alpha v not dot g is minus v not g sin alpha this is expression v not dot g is minus v not g sin alpha vector g is downward v not is that so v not dot g is minus v not g sin alpha this is v not dot g now the first part the dis displacement of the body is a function of time is this second part b part of the problem a part is that and b part of the problem is the mean velocity vector averaged over the first t seconds and wha what is mean velocity vector we know that mean velocity vector is defined as total displacement traveled in time t divided by total time t so it is v not vector t plus half g vector t square divided by total time t it will become v not vector plus half g vector into t so it is t by t g vector so it is v not plus half it, this can also be written in this manner v not plus half g vector into t so this is average velocity vector Averaged in time t, and the second part over the total time of motion. So we know that the total time of motion of a projectile it means time by time by time period of the projectile is two u, or it is two v naught, two v naught sine alpha, two u sine alpha by g. We know that total time of motion is that. So v naught sine alpha from this expression, if we multiply g in numerator and denominator, we will get minus. Uh, it will become two v naught sine alpha g and g square and derivative, and value of v naught g sine alpha is minus v naught dot g. So it will become two by g square into minus v naught dot g. And if we take minus outside, it will become minus. It will become minus. The expression will become minus two by g square into v naught. so this is the total time taken so total average over this much time will become the second part the over the whole time interval t we have to decide the mean velocity vector so mean velocity vector 
of the particle averaged over the total time averaged over the total time equal to total displacement by the particle total displacement by the particle divided by total time t so if we take this is the average in time t and we have to obtain the average over total time so put the value of t as this if we take this value of t in this place we will get the total average so total time average of the particle will be v naught vector plus half g vector into the value of time is minus 2 by g square into v naught dot g this is the total average and in detailed form it will become v naught vector plus and it now it is minus v naught vector dot g vector over g square and g so over all the time this average will be v naught dot v naught dot g by g square into g this is total thank you